First there was the i3, then the i8, and now there's this, the all new BMW i4. It's essentially an electric version of what would be the new, yet currently unreleased, 4 Series Grand Coupe, taking design cues from the company's controversially styled 4 Series Coupe and giving it an extra set of doors. It's one of the German Mark's most important cars of the year, and while the firm is keeping a lid on a lot of the i4's finer details, we've put together a list of 5 things you need to know about the electric 4-door coupe. But before I get into the list, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. Another new BMW, another opportunity to bring up the massive grille. Now we've spoken about the company's new grille design in other videos, and we've even managed to avoid the subject altogether, well, sort of, on our BMW M3 and M4 review. In fact, you can watch that by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. But let us know what you think of the i4's front end down in the comments. The overall design of the i4 builds on the look of the Concept i4, adopting the same coupe-like silhouette with four doors for extra practicality. The only major differences are the reworked headlights, some extra vents around the base of the front bumper, and less glitzy wheels that somewhat take the edge off the car's looks but will no doubt improve the ride quality. There's a good chance the i4 will also preview the look of the next generation 4 series Grand Coupe. The lights, grille design and silhouette all come from the two-door 4 Series and the previous generation Grand Coupe has yet to be replaced. Of course, BMW could throw a curveball and use the i4 as the Grand Coupe's replacement. BMW hasn't actually revealed any details about the interior of the i4 just yet, but we can look at other cars in the lineup for a clue as to what the i4's cabin will look like. The obvious comparison will be the firm's new iX crossover, which shares the same platform as the i4 and features a similar cabin to that of the Concept i4. Both the iX and Concept i4 come with a large panel that incorporates the infotainment screen at one end and the virtual cockpit at the other. The panel itself seems to float on top of the dashboard, well, not literally, which itself slopes downwards towards the driver and passenger to give the impression of a more airy cabin. As is the case with a lot of modern electric cars, there's a very good chance you'll be able to choose a vegan-friendly interior that swaps out the traditional leather upholstery with recycled materials covering the seats and trim. But if you really want leather, you'll probably be able to order a cowskin interior as an optional extra. The i4 will feature BMW's new 8th generation iDrive infotainment system, which will likely power that ultra-wide panel seen on the Concept i4 and iX SUV. Not only does the new system support high-resolution displays, it'll also be significantly more responsive than the infotainment software found in today's BMWs and feature slick new 3D graphics. As it currently stands, only the iX and i4 will feature the new system, though it should appear in most new BMWs going forward. In the iX, the system is mostly controlled through touch, although there is a rotary dial in the center console if you'd rather not take your eyes off the road. You can also use gesture controls, but does anybody actually use them? Really? If you do, let me know down in the comments because I would really like to know why. Finally, the new iDrive system can be updated over the air. That means BMW could release new features and bug fixes, which can be downloaded straight to your car without needing to visit a dealer. It's a bit like updating your iPhone, only you won't lose all of your data if something goes wrong. Like the design of the cabin, BMW is keeping some of the finer details about the i4's powertrain under wraps for now. That being said, we do know the range topping models will send power to both axles, suggesting it'll be equipped with two motors and boast a power output of 523 brake horsepower. That would make the top spec i4 more powerful than the BMW M3 and M4. Plus, with power going to both wheels, we expect a 0 to 62 times somewhere in the region of around 4 seconds, about a second faster than the equally powerful yet heavier iX xDrive 50. But the number you're probably interested in is the range. The top spec i4 sports a range of up to 367 WLTP rated miles on a single charge. That's impressive, putting it just ahead of the Tesla Model 3 long range and performance models. 
In fact, if you click the link in the top right hand corner, you can check out our review of the new Model 3. If you like the look of the new i4 and can look past the um, questionable grille design, then you're in luck. BMW plans to launch the car some three months ahead of schedule, with sales due to open in Germany in the autumn and the UK likely to follow soon after. On the run-up to the car's arrival in showrooms, BMW plans to drip-feed more information about the car such as the interior design, safety tech and trim levels. We wouldn't be surprised if pricing was announced closer to the car's release as well, but expect to figure somewhere in the region of fifty to £60,000 so it goes up against the Tesla Model 3. Of course, we'll have all the latest information on the i4 when it becomes available on yesauto.com.